Hey guys! So today I am doing a tutorial of this look that I'm wearing right here and it is a Bridget Bardot inspired tutorial. Uh, she is such an icon, she's so gorgeous, absolutely love her, such a style inspiration. Um, she's just very well known for that like signature flick with a little bit of liner on the inner rim and a really nice pouty nude lip. If you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my foundation, and I'm using just any normal foundation that you have around your house. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match, and I am just buffing that on with a Zoeva stippling brush. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just make sure everything's nice and blended out. taking my NARS concealer and I'm covering up a few cheeky blemishes that I have that are just popping through my face at this time and it's really annoying but this concealer is amazing for just covering them up and looking nice and flawless so just pop that on with a doe foot applicator and then I buffed it out with a buffing concealer brush and now I'm taking that same concealer and I'm putting it under my eyes and I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender Just to add a little extra luminosity to under the eye, I am using my Becca Under Eye Brightener. Then moving on into brows, I am taking the spoolie end of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I am brushing through my brows so it is easier to put some color in there and fill those babies in and make them fuller. And I'm just doing that with small hair-like strokes. And then I'm going to set those into place with my Maybelline Brow Drama. Now moving on to eyes, I have already primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm starting with my Tarte Palette. And this is the shade Super Mom. It's just a basic cream colored eyeshadow and I'm placing that all over my eye from lash to brow bone. And then I'm going to take the shade Wanderer which is just kind of a good transition shade and I'm just fluffing that into the crease and just kind of diffusing that color out and just starting to define my crease area just a little bit. And then I'm going to be taking this darker shade in Dreamer and I'm going to be taking that on more of a rounded brush that's better for kind of sculpting out the crease and I am just going to be blending that in back and forth. I want something that's kind of defined but that's not super defined. So having those two different colors, one that's a little bit more pigmented and strategically placed and then one that's a little bit more blended out is kind of going to help give that effect. And then I'm taking my Inglot Gel Liner in the number 77. This eyeliner is amazing, and I think it's only like $13. It's definitely better than the Maybelline one, in my opinion. And um, I am just doing a winged eyeliner, because it's classic Bridget Bardot to do a winged liner. Bardot a lot of the times would line her inner rim with a black eye coal so that is what I'm choosing to do today to give it a little bit more of a sultry smoky edge and then I'm going to blend out that bottom lash line with a pencil brush and then also with the shade Dreamer from the Tarte palette again. And just curling my eyelashes and then I'm applying some mascara. This is a Lancome Grandiose Mascara. And then I'm going to go in and set my foundation with my Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder.
2022 Petite Stippling Brush from Zoeva. I am placing the ColourPop Cosmetics blush in between the sheets on the apples of my cheekbones and blending backwards. And then using this ColourPop Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Spoons, I am just giving myself this gorgeous metallic glow, absolutely stunning. And these highlighters are only $8, which is kind of a steal, and they're amazing quality. <laughs> Moving on to lips, I'm using my MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare, and I'm just lining out my lips. Sorry if there's not much footage here, I'm really bad at staying in frame while I'm doing my lips, as you will also see when I'm doing my lipstick. And then the lipstick that I'm using is just this beautiful matte nude shade. This was limited edition um, with MAC. This is the Strip Poker color from the Kelly Osborne collection, but so many other things are similar, MAC Myth, MAC Hue. And also, Noble from Kat Von D is also very similar to this color. So if you have any of those, those will work too. Or just any nude color. So this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye, guys.